Hello, 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 hello. I just thought I'd pop in and do a quick Facebook Live this afternoon. I've got a little a fun project to show you that I've done um, because I thought this would be a really useful little thing to do to make. So it's that time of the year really when we're looking at making lots of little tiny kind of 3D objects. I know there's lots of people out there who do uh, stuff for craft fairs um and like small presents for children and things like that and i thought this was a really basically i'll show you what i've got i've got all these really cute little pencils that i bought in a pack and i wanted to package them up really prettily and show you a way of doing that i know teachers they like to give it a really inexpensive little gift um at christmas to their children i thought that would be a great idea i know my kids brought home all sorts of bookmarks or like pencils and post-it notes and fun things like that and I thought this would be a great idea packaged up using paper crafting products um, or maybe it could be used for a little craft fair item something like that or a stocking filler perfect for that so I thought I'd just jump on and show you that um, when I worked at a really good regular time of the week I'll probably make a regular Facebook live slot and I'm liking the idea of a mid-afternoon session uh, so this may be maybe a regular thing so um, I'm just going to refresh my page on my laptop and see how we're getting on. Let's just have a look, see if I'm live in the right place. Because the last thing you want is to be broadcasting in the wrong right place. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, there I am. Oh yeah, I will say that um, I've drawn the blind behind me because I've actually got quite a bit of light coming in through there. And what with the really big lights I've got in my craft room, it was making a lot of glare on the screen and a lot of flickering. So that's the reason why I've got the blinds drawn there, just so it doesn't do that awful flicker. Now the fun part is I'm gonna try and turn you around now. I've had my coffee. I'm gonna try and turn you around and I'm gonna try and be a little bit more seamless than I was last time. So do bear with me here without sticking my hand in the camera. That's always fun. So here we go. Now I'm gonna do it like this. So you're gonna to get to see the Probably end up with a ceiling and then turn you around. See what we've got. Oh, yeah, that looks a bit more like it, doesn't it? So I'll just tighten up the tripod and bring you a bit nearer. I do have some shadow, I do apologize. It's really difficult to find a really good spot where there's no shadow and you can also get the tripod exactly how you want it to be. So I'll just bring it up slightly. <laughs> I've got all that shadow, never mind, not to worry. We can work with it, I'm sure. So yeah, you can see these cute little things I've got here. So basically, I went into the pound shop to look for these. Um, I came out with these and they've got mermaids and unicorns and rainbows. And I know that this unic these unicorns are little mythological creatures like the narwhal and the mermaid and all. I know they're really popular with little girls at the minute. So I just thought I'd grab some of those and I got how many? One... Two, four, six of those for a pound. I mean, you can't go wrong. And then I got these little pack of highlighter pens and they kind of match actually, because they're from the same range. And I got those also for the pack for a pound. So I'll show you how I wrapped them all up and made them look really cute and pretty. Yeah, really cute. I thought they'd be just a perfect thing with a bit of glitter and sequiny on for craft fairs or teacher gifts to kids. Right, because they're so cheap and inexpensive. So to go along with the mermaidy kind of pretty feel, I use these papers. Now they're called the Twinkle. Ooh, Twinkle. Let's look them up. What they're called? The Twinkle Twinkle. <laughs> I want to say they are from the Stampin' Up Annual Catalogue. They are, and they are called, where are they? We have a lot of lovely papers. The Twinkle Twinkle, can you see that? Designer series papers. So you get a pack of 12 by 12 papers. So they're 12 inches and you get a pack of 12 double-sided papers. And there's lots of colors that you can pick out in there. So there's gray, navy, pink, pool party, soft sea foam, and white, obviously. So yeah, you get a lot in there. I've just got a little bit of mine left, but you can see all the really soft, pretty colours. They're ideal for wrapping up this kind of thing. So yeah, there's lots of cute, pretty, 
pretty colours. So I thought that I would take this one that I've been using and go with that. So for each one, you only need, so what I've done actually is get this, so you know what I've done. You would get a 12 by 12 piece of paper and I've cut this in quarter. So literally six by six piece. And that's gonna make both of these items. So if I grab my trimmer and cut it in half, let's we'll see what, I can do, what I'm going to do. So simple. So cut it in half. So if I cut it at three inches, will give me two pieces and they're both three inches by six inches. So I'll pop that out of the way. There, right. Now, lost my instructions. There we are. I scribbled them down. I worked out how to do it and scribbled them down so I didn't forget. Right, I'm going to need my score. So let's move one out of the way. Okay. Hey, Mum, how you doing? How's your teeth? You went to the dentist, which is never fun, is it? I hope you're feeling okay today. Okay, so this is going to be the one for the pencil, so it needs to be long. So I am going to score it at, I don't remember what I'm doing here, one inch, without looking at my piece of paper. <laughs> and is that straight? Let's make sure I do it straight. One inch, oh, it was okay, and two inches. Literally short at, short side at the top here and score it one inch and two inch. And then on one end to make the bottom, I'm going to score it at half an inch. Oh, soup for lunch. That sounds good, actually. That sounds really good. Okay, so that's my first one. And so the reason I put a bottom on it was because these pencils are really quite sharp. And you don't want it poking out the bottom. So I've made a little flap to stop that happening. So it's really quite useful. And then I'll show you how it goes together. It's the easiest, most simple project you've ever seen. Really is easy. So I'd hope I had my bone folder. I'll put it away. Oh, I've probably got it here somewhere. There we go. Just make sure it's not too far over, otherwise it won't fold. So just burnish your score lines with your bone folder so they're nice sharp creases. And then go back over. Don't I make a lot of noise? There, so you've got a nice sharp crease, 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 <laughs> like that. That's it. And then we're going to use a little bit of tape. So I've got my double-sided tape, my tearing tape. Just going to pop it in the middle, inside, like that. And if you want to work out where the other piece goes, just fold it together. And then you can see it can go along this edge, actually just to make it simple to explain, all the way along, right to the end, get your pencil in place, just a little pouch, that's all it is, so take the bits off, they will struggle with this bit you know, and this bit, okay, and then close it up both ways. And then you've got your little little pencil pouch. Just open it up. And you can put your pencil in it. Hi, Emily. Hi, Julia. Hope you're all good. Yeah, so you can pop it in there. Like so. How easy is that? Is that not the easiest, quickest thing in the world? No, you just want to decorate it a little bit. Um, so I've got a piece of scrap whisper white card and I've taken some of the ink colours that we've got in the papers. So I've got some petal pink and I've got balmy blue and I'm going to use those to stamp with really simply. 
Now I've got some stamps for it. This Eastern Beauty stamp set. I just wanted a nice little word on there, so I picked out the hello and this little circle from it. And I'm literally, the photopolymer, I'm literally going to stamp it on a piece of scrap white cardstock. And I might as well do them both while I'm at it. And then the pink. I've got hello. You can see the impression of what I've been stamping in there before. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to stamp it in the middle of my circle. Simple hours. It's the easiest little project to make. But you can make a ton of these if you're doing a craft fair or you wanted to give them to children or stocking fillers or something like that. I've got my one and a quarter inch circle punch. I'm going to open it up, turn it upside down and just punch out those little circles like that. It fits the stamp exactly. There we go. Out of the pop. So I'll put that one out of the way as well. I don't need that anymore. Okay, so what I wanted was I really like this scalloped edge, give it a little bit of something else. So I've taken a circle die, a scalloped circle die, and I'm going to run it through my big shot cutting machine so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to bring that into the shot. Let me just move these things out of the way. So it's a bit cumbersome turn it around that way so if you know what a big shot is slightly boring if you don't here's what it is right, it's a die cutting machine and this is a little this cuts out paper so I've got a piece of the matching cardstock in petal pink that matches the ink that we've used and I'm just going to cut a couple of these circles out so I place it on there it's like a big mangle and pop your cutting pad on the top and turn your handle and through it goes. Hopefully I haven't got it too close to the edge. I think it moves slightly. Let's bring it back. Sorry, I'm making the camera shake quite a lot by having it so close. So there's your circle. Oh, I cut two out. See, I'm cleverer than I realise. It's a double thickness piece of card. <laughs> See, I didn't realise I was so efficient. So there we are, I'll cut two out at once. You can do that on the big shot. You cut two layers of card. Right, let's move that out of the way. So we know we've got two of those, one for each of the projects we're making. So I can bring all this back in. I'm just gonna glue that on there with regular glue, with my multi-purpose glue, Tombow. I use this for everything, because it's great. on. These circle dies, they come in a big massive set and you get tons of circles and scalloped circles as well. Yay, yeah, Julia, two for one. I could try and pretend that I was that organised. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just going to pop that on, on here. These would go great at a craft fair I think because you can sell them very cheaply um, children love little things to buy with their pocket money or well, they'd go really well in a stocking or yeah for teachers to give out so there we go so I've done the hellos so I can put that on the front of my pencil topper I've got some double-sided foam pads somewhere oh I'm coming to the end of this this one never mind we we'll use up all the bits shall we and get another sheet out. I'm just going to put them down the middle. I don't know what the weather's like there, but it's absolutely blowing a, a gale here. It's pouring with rain. It's miserable as. So what should we do? Stay at home and get crafting. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. There we go. So there's that. Oh, I missed a bit out, actually, because I liked a little bit of sparkle on it. 
So let's put some sparkle trim on there. Just sequin trim. Comes on a reel and lasts you forever. But I think I'm going to have to get some more at some point. But I don't know how long I've had this, like years. So I'm going to take this off. There we are. There's always a way. I'm going to use the dimensionals to hold the sequin trim on as well. Dual purpose. There you go. Just a little bit of glimmer and sparkle. I love this. I think it's really cute. So I'll show you how to make the little one as well. The little highlighter one. That I got like that. There are tons of them in the packet. So I use the other half of the sheet of paper. So you can get a lot out of a 12 by 12 sheet, you'd get a lot. So this is the other half. So I'm gonna do the same, but I'm gonna turn it the other way. So I've got my trimmer. Now, I'm gonna, so this is also three by six, and I'm gonna score it at two inches. and four inches. And then along the bottom again at half an inch. There we go. Let's move that out of the way. That's all the scoring you need to do, so simple. Anybody can do it. So it's just a shorter version. I've turned it around the other way, literally. So let's get the tape. Oh, you're right, Julia. It, a little bit does go a long way. I'm glad it's dry with you. It's just been lashing it down here. I think it's gonna be dry tomorrow with a bit of luck. It's getting a bit fed up with the rain now. Right. And then just a little bit along here to close it. So I've made a ton of Christmas cards. Um, I have ordered my Christmas turkey and I've booked my online delivery slot for Christmas. And that's as far as I've got, as far as getting ready for Christmas. But I'm sure it'll all happen as it always does. I don't fret about such things. Life's too short to worry. Right, there we go. So there's our little pouch. Now we're gonna pop our, our highlighter in it. How cute is that? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it doesn't take much to please me, as you can see, I'm easily pleased. Now, if, you, if you're thinking in terms of stereotypical boy-girl, I'm sure you can buy some stereotypical boy pencils. I really don't think it matters so much, especially these days, but yeah, I'm sure you can if you want to. I didn't really look, I just grabbed what I saw, but um, I'm sure you can find them pretty much anywhere. Children don't seem to mind as much as we do, I think. Right, I've got my bit of sequin trim. I've got my hello, let's make sure it's the right way up. Hello, hello, hello. On it goes. There we go. How cute is that? <laughs> there. Oh, more than you've done. Oh, we all get there though, don't we? It spoils Christmas getting too stressed out about it, I think. We just need to do it when, when, when we can and it'll all get done. Nobody will worry. There we are. Let's get rid of all those bits and pieces. I hope you like these cute little things. I reckon you could put pretty much anything in there. And it would... Uh, what are they in the short stubby pocket? You missed the beginning. The short stubby pocket. Let me get my post-it note and I'll show you what they are. They are little highlighter pens for kids to take to school um, or whatever they want to do with them. But seriously, all kids have highlighter pens in school these days. But yeah, little highlighter pens and they're so cute. So great for teachers to give out or you to do. So there we are. So that's those. 
There is one other thing that I want to show you that I thought was absolutely genius that um, somebody at my coffee and cards taught me this week. And it's just an added extra. I'm not, it's not actually meant to be a finished project, but I'll show you exactly how to make this thing. Let me just grab some paper. So I've got another piece of paper. I have cut it in half as well. So it's, hi Donna. Oh, thanks, Mum. I think they're really cute too. Those pencils were a pack of six for a pound in the pound shop, as were the pack of highlighter pens. Oh, that's not six inches. Oh, it is. I must have cut a bit off the end. There we are. Anyway, sorted. <laughs> so I've got a Christmassy bit. <laughs> Look at those elves. <laughs> Santa's elves. I love this paper. Anyway, that's not the point. Okay, I'm going to show you, I'm going to make something really fun here. And this is not a finished thing, as I say, it's just a fun thing that somebody at Coffee and Cards showed me how to make this. And I am sure this came from somebody else, but I don't know who, so I'm afraid I can't give credit. So take a piece of paper that's six inches by six inches, a piece of pattern paper. It needs to be quite a good heavyweight one. Otherwise, with all the creases, it's going to end up breaking. So, yeah, fold it in half. Fold it in half again. Do you remember those um, little things you make as a kid where you you put your fingers in and you'll know what I mean in a minute. It kind of makes me think of that. So in half again. And then in half point to point like a diamond, like a triangle even. I was tickled pink by this project, so <laughs> I hope you like it. And again the other way. each way right so now you've done that okay at each corner yeah fortune tellers that's the one thanks mum so it reminds you of that doesn't it right now we've got it here at each corner so with a point going upwards we're going to make what looks like the nose of when you're making a paper airplane if you rem remember how to do that that was that's a good thing to keep in mind so you know where the fold is and fold it right into that middle crease like that and do the same on that side so you've got your kind of paper aeroplaney nose thing that's a technical word that is so it's Glynis bless her who showed us how to make this at coffee and cards oh, I've been busy making these ever since <laughs> right so on that corner I've made my aeroplane nose okay and then I'm going to open it out and I'm going to do the same on every corner Just make your thing. It's good if you can use a bone folder and score it well. You've got nice crisp score lines. I think that helps it. That one wasn't so good, but it'll it'll you'll you'll get the idea. Right, we're getting that. That's not brilliant, is it? But never mind. So, and then this one, I made a ton of them. Don't know what I'm going to do with the wall. This one, I do know what I'm going to do with them all, actually. Right, I'm nearly there, ladies. Sorry if it's getting a bit dull. Right, so I've done one corner, another corner, another corner, just this last corner to go. And then we're done pretty much. Anyone guess what I'm making? <laughs> oh dear.
It's this bit that's hard in the corner just to get it to go over. Because you want nice thick cardstock, but not too cardstock. Oh, good morning from... Uh, good morning. Hello, Julie. Julie's in North Dakota. That's a long way. Wow, hello. It's uh, half past one in the afternoon here. Right, there we are. So we've done all the corners. Right, now the fun bit is to try and get it to do what I want it to do. Okay, let's see if I can make it work. It will, I promise. So we need a corner like that. And then a corner like that. And eventually the corners will all pop together. Honest, they will. Why are they not working? So your, core, your, your creases have to be really well scored. And then eventually you're going to end up with this cute little thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you love it when things go wrong? No, hang on, here we go. It's coming. It just doesn't want to fold up. 7.30 a.m. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thanks, Julie. Thank you for sharing. That's really kind. Thank you so much. That makes a big difference if you share. Right. Okay, right, I'm getting annoyed. Let me show you the ones I've made. They're all exactly the same, and I think I haven't done anything wrong. I just haven't bent it properly well. So they basically come up like this. How cute are they? Look at that. It's like a little jewel. Um, yeah, and that's how it is. And so if you put your little chocolate inside, your little sweet or a ring, a present uh, <laughs> inside, and then you punch a hole in the top, Let's have a look. I've got one over here that I've done. Let me just grab it. And then I'll try and put together that one I was making. Yeah, so here's one that I've made. And if you punch some holes in the top and wrap some ribbon, you can hang it on your Christmas tree. There's no glue. There's no cutting. It's just folding. Um, and then you punch your holes and you can put your things in. Or if you did a lot of them, say you made like 25 and put numbers on, you can make a really cute little advent calendar. Oh, thanks, Julie. I'm going to get it to work. I'm determined to get it to work. Where's the one that I was doing? This one. Let's just make sure that I've done it right. That way, that way, that way, that way. Maybe my creases aren't very sharp. Yeah, that's what it was. You need your creases to be really sharp, I think. Hmm, I'm not sure why it's not folding like this one. But I'll show you on this one, I did exactly the same. So you fold it this way, and then you fold it this way, and then you fold it that way, and then you fold it that way. And then each corner you fold in like your paper aeroplane. So it goes like that. And did I do that right on here? Yeah, one, two. Um. Hi, Buzz. Oh, great for Hershey kisses. They fit in there perfectly. You're never late, Baz. You're just so lovely. Right, and this. And this. Oh. I'm going to make it work. <laughs> anyway, not to worry. You can see exactly how it fits. Oh, it's worked. I just needed to bit, have a bit more sharp um, edges, didn't I? That's what it was. Sharp corners. And then sometimes the bottom needs pushing out. And I've made it look really hard and it's not hard at all. There you are. It's just worked fine now. I don't know. I just maybe haven't scored my um, creases properly. But if you do it, you can see how it comes together. And how cute is that? It's lovely. Love those. I've made a ton of those. 
I'm contemplating putting them all together and make an advent calendar with them. So I don't know whose original project it was. Um, I have had to look around and can't find anything. Um, but obviously, if you do know and you want to reproduce it, make sure you give them credit for it. Somebody just taught me this at my coffee and cards, a lovely lady who comes. So I hope you've enjoyed it and you're going to go home and do it, go off and do a little bit of origami and paper folding. <laughs> They're so fab, look. I love them. Really great. How big a piece of DSP do you start with? Uh, six by six. Just six by six and you just fold it this way, this way, corner to corner, corner to corner. And then you start doing your little airplane nose folds on each one. They'd be great on the Christmas tree. Yeah, definitely try it, Julie. I think they look really cool on the tree, hung up like this one with a little sweetie inside. Yeah, I hope you like that. That was just an afterthought to show you because I thought you might uh, might like that because I loved it. And I hope you like these little treaty type pockets that we made with this DSP. You can use any DSP. I did find a Christmas pencil as well. So you could definitely make little Christmas ones if that was your thing. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, Christmas tree ornaments, Baz, definitely. Thanks for joining me, ladies. Lovely to have you. And hopefully I'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye then. Have fun. Have a good day. Bye.